Hello, I just wanted to jump on with a quick message. Um, God's plan is so perfect. God is so strategic. The way he lines things up, it's just perfection. It is it's so much perfection that he is amazing. He is really am amazing. Um, I'm just going to start here. Uh, God says the sign is for now, um, which means a lot of times we get a sign from the Lord. And for some of us, we think that we got a sign and what the Lord told us, it didn't actually work out the way that it was supposed to work out. Mm -hmm. You did hear from the Lord. <laughs> you heard right. Because God wanted you in that season right there for a reason. He told you. He planted you where he wanted to plant you. He wanted you to sit right there for a reason. He wanted to walk you through something because there was something he wanted to do through you. What he wants to do through you is more important than what, what you want him to do for you. I'm going to be really real. What he wants to do through you. And when what he does through you is going to be way more amazing than anything he could ever do for you. I'm going to be really honest. So God is saying that, you know, the sign is for now. So when he told you, when God said um, he, he gave you that sign, you were right. You did hear from the Lord. He wanted you right there in that time because there was something he needed to do through you and, to, and through those around you. Because we are vessels of the Lord um, for his glory. It's, it's his glory. His his plan is way better than our plan. His will is way better than our will. Yes, we do move and he will, he, uh, he does bless us with the desires of our heart because he knows our heart better than we do. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sometimes we're holding on to things, jobs, people, places. Sometimes we're holding on to things because we think that that's the best so far. <laughs> But God is saying, you haven't even seen nothing yet. You haven't seen nothing yet. You know, so that's why you need to live and trust God. Meaning, when you get to that point, and, and I think there was a, 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 I don't know who sings the song, but it, it goes like, it, it, he was saying that the moment that he stopped worrying, that's when things start happening. You know, when you stop wondering you know how your life is going to end up and you're you know just and you're basically walking with god letting god lead you basically letting go and letting god things just happen letting god have his way let god have his way <laughs> yeah something like that so like it's i don't know who sang that song but yeah like just let god have his way and i'm telling you things are going to just come into alignment so perfectly that you're going to be like, I know that that was only the Lord. And he will, he will use, um, God will use anything and bless it. Anyone and bless them. I mean, God has blessed, uh, let's just be honest. He's blessed adulterous murderers, prostitutes. He will use anyone. He's spoken through a, a burning bush. I'm just saying God <laughs> can do whatever he wants to do. And that's what he's trying to show you. He will use you at your highest level. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. God will use a president to bless you. Praise the Lord. God will use you at your lowest of lows. And that's, and that's my main message that I'm trying to say. When you are at your lowest of lows, God will use you because God will so that no one can boast. He chose the foolish things. He chose the despised things so that no one can boast. He chose the foolish things so that no one can boast. Do you understand? So that no one can boast. So what I mean by that is you might go for a job interview and uh, you might not be the best dressed. You might not even feel confident about it. And I'm going to tell you something, God, you will still get that job. And you want to know why? Because... God wanted you to know that it was him. It's no way you should have got it. It's just no way. Like if everything was working against it, but it still happened. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like God is so amazing. Just how his perfect plan is, how his perfect plan works, you know? And another message he wanted me to give is about basically the sign is for now. A lot of times we get um, disheartened when we feel like we didn't hear from the Lord. Um, when something didn't pan out the way we thought it was going to pan out. We thought we heard it from the Lord. I'm here to tell you that you did. You heard correctly from the Lord. Yes, you did. Praise God. Um, and what I mean by that is we know that we serve a now 
type of God and in the moment type of God. Even, um, I believe it's in the chapter of Exodus, I do, um, where they they were led by a, a cloud by day and I think it was a pillar of fire by night. You know, he led them. He didn't just give them the directions and say, go, you know. And even with the, the three wise men, I think they had to follow, like they had to follow that star to find, you know, um, baby Jesus. So he doesn't just say, here's the, here's the directions or he doesn't just implant it and they had it. He led them. He led them. It's a daily walk. So when you say God, you give God a question and you say, this is this. He, yeah, that's where he wants you at right now. You can't get ahead of God. Do you understand me? <laughs> You can you can never get ahead of God because, like God says, now a new thing springs up. Do you not perceive it? Praise the Lord. So God, you you heard right. God needed you there for a reason. God needed you there because it was something He was trying to do through you um, and through the people that are around you. He He used you as a disciple. He used you for His perfect will to get His will done. That Thy will be done. He used you in that moment to bless someone. Someone needed to see that. Someone needed to hear that story. Someone needed that moment. God needed to put some wisdom in you. God needed to put, maybe humble us. Sometimes we need to be humbled. Praise the Lord. God humbles me all the time. Okay? God gives me wisdom all the time. So, that that situation gave you more wisdom. That situation humbled you. And not just that, it, it affected a lot of people around you as well. So, that needed to be happened. God says, you are where you need to be right now. Worry about today um, because you're not able to boast on tomorrow. You you know, we, we think we heard a sign saying this is going to be. The no, you can't boast on tomorrow. You cannot boast on tomorrow. And God says he came because you, he, um, you needed him. We needed him. That's why he came. That's why he came because we need him daily because we live in a dark world. We live in a dark world where we have to live by faith daily. And if we have to live by faith daily, then that obviously means that we do not know where anything or how anything is going to transpire going forward. If we have to live by faith, meaning faith is the substance of things not seen, Faith is the substance, excuse me, faith is the substance, it just hit me, thank you Holy Spirit, faith, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, so basically things not being seen, things not being seen, so if we are living by faith, that means we're not seeing what's supposed to be happening, we're living in a dark world, that's why we have to seek God all the time for direction, and even, I mean, for, for all of that, so I'm just saying, God is in the details. He's so strategic. Everything is going to line up. God will use your highest moments to bless you. He will use your lowest moments to bless you. I'm just saying, it's going to come through. That The way God's plan is so perfect, God's perfect plan is going to come through. And you're just going to be like, now I see why everything happened the way that it did. And still... And still unfolding. The plan just is still unfolding. You, you're you only at a certain level. But something that you have been, uh, what's the word, confused about or just um, uh, wondering about for a while, you're going to understand now. It's, it's going to come into, you're going to, you're going to um, have that revelation. You're going to, that plan is going to unfold. That part of the, the story is going to unfold for you. The next chapter, you're going to be able to have access to that next chapter because you've turned the page on some things. Praise God. You've closed some do some doors on some things. Praise God. You have elevated um, in the spirit. God is amazing. Um, so that is my message for today. And I do pray that it blesses you. God loves you. And so do I.